Hey there, welcome to SynthSeeker. My name's Luke. So today what we're going to do is sort of put together all of the little pieces we've been, uh, been putting out uh, in video form uh, for Berlin School, Space Rock, Prog Rock kind of stuff. And I'm um, just going to sort of tie it all together into a little jam for Father's Day, basically. And uh, I've got a little time. My family's leaving me alone. <laughs> and I uh, and, uh, just thought I'd put something together and just walk us through some of the demonstration of specific techniques uh, get to hear some of the sounds and uh, how you can layer them all together. So what do we got here? All right, well, I'm not going dollless because when I jam, I like to sort of live loop personally. Uh, so I'm going to use Ableton here. I'm going to use the push. Uh, no matter what I do, it's always got a grid in there somewhere, Deluge, Push, Launchpad Pro. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through some sounds so you can hear what I've got lined up. I'm going to build a few loops here, uh, show you how it's done. And, or at least show you how I do it, and then uh, put it all together into a little jam. Is it going to be amazing? Uh, I don't know. I like it. Uh, the point of here is to have fun. So let's go through sounds. So first thing we have here is a sort of Berlin School pluck. If you play eighth notes and you've got a dotted eighth note delay on it, you're going to get that ducka 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 kind of feel to it. And I've constrained this to a scale, right? So on the push, we've got it in chromatic mode so I can play the in between notes, but it is being forced to a scale. You'll see me basically only hitting the colored notes, the light notes, or, and, uh, and that keeps it in. What are we in? We're in E Dorian, actually. Okay. So that's our first pluck. Then we've got another pluck with a slightly different timbre. This one's got a bit of a, a slower attack, so you get a chiffing kind of sound, uh, like a pan flute sort of chiffer. But it's using saw waves instead of square waves, so it doesn't sound hollow like a flute. And it also has a dotted eighth. Uh, delay on it, right? And the point is I'm going to take these two distinct sounds and and I'm going to layer them against each other and uh, and we'll get something going. So let's start with that. I'm going to use a metronome here. So let's get something. There we go. So there's our metronome. Don't worry, you won't have to deal with it the whole time. I will eventually turn it off. But let's record a really short clip here. That's it. Okay. I've just recorded three notes. All right. And we're going to dial this down and we're going to say, okay, I only want this loop to be the, as long as those three notes. So we'll keep dealing this down. There we go. So that's our, that is our first loop. All right. So now let's put a different loop against this one. So that was that loop is three notes long. We're going to do an, a different number. Okay, so let's lay something else down. All right, so that's a really long one. And all I was doing really is just hitting random notes with a few rests in there. Um, to lay this down, and I'm going to dial this in as well. Let's make this, we'll make this two bars long. All right, and now when we play these against each other, it sounds like this. All right, we may, we may want to balance them a little bit. So that gives us this sort of nice texture, right, in E Dorian. And we can pull other instruments in on top of that. Okay, so I've got a slow pad here. This is nothing special. That is just a sawtooth wave, right? Two oscillators slightly detuned. And they've got a slow attack and a slow release. And there's a big uh, buttload of reverb on them. Yeah, 
Okay, so if we bring all these together, we start the other two playing and we'll lay a little line down on top of this. building up layers, right? We, in my previous video, I talked about how you build things in layers. This is what we're doing here. The next sound we've got is another pad. Again, slow attack, slow release, long release, a lot of reverb. This one's a little more hollow. There's some square wave in there as opposed to sawtooth. We're going to use this in the low end. All right, so let's put some of that in there. Sounds pretty good. All right. What else do we have here? So we've got a little lead sound. All right. So we can play once now that we've got that bed of the plucks and some pads laying there, we can just sort of start laying that lead over it. We can just jam. So this was not hard to do, right? We've got a couple of plucks playing two patterns that are phasing, right? They're different lengths playing against each other. They have different timbres. And we've got a couple different pads with different timbres playing different lines, but all within key. We're all in E Dorian right now. And then I've got this lead that I can just noodle around and play on top of. Okay. Uh, but maybe we want to start putting a little rhythm in there. So we've got, I've got a pulsed pad here. This is from a previous video a couple weeks ago where it's talking about synced LFOs running at different speeds. They're both, that's uh, the Moog subsequent. It's got uh, two LFOs that are uh, modulating the filter frequency at different rates. All right, so we'll lay some of that on top of this. Maybe not. I want something a little bit more. Um, I don't want to just sustain it, so let's try that again. Let's hear that in isolation for a second here. Let's turn these others off. We'll just leave one of the bells on. So you can still play the lead over that. I haven't done anything resembling a chord progression yet, right? intentionally. I'm just jamming on E for the most part. All right. 
Uh, there's a reason for that. The last piece of the puzzle is I like prog rock. I like space music that's got some bass guitar in it. All right. And, um, and so I do a lot of stuff with sampled bass. So... So I want a bass line on this. Again, I'm just going to jam on E here. Let's add a little bass to this. A little quantize to help me with my timing. Okay, so that's going to work for now. So I've got all these parts, right? I've got these distinct loops, uh, and they're all sort of jamming on E. No chord changes, just sort of staying around E. Okay, now I've set up each of these tracks so that they've got uh, the key to mod plugin on it, which is that plugin I did a video on that allows you to globally transpose uh, all of the instruments that are playing. So you can sort of, if you've got this setup where you've got a jam going on a particular sort of route, you can then do transpositions across the scale with that using a single sort of finger. <laughs> this is the ultimate one finger sort of jam session, okay? So I've got all these clips set up and I've got this transposition instrument ready to go, all right? So let's see how this sounds. Let's start playing them all at once. Let's start transposing them a bit, right? Let's go up instead. how that works basically I've got the tool set up I've got my tool set up so I can transpose all of the instruments that are playing and they're because they're jamming on E they're sort of staying on the root I can move them through the different um, intervals within the key that we're in and they'll all just sort of follow and uh, be constrained to the key and it sounds pretty good so that's just one way to do it right the other way is to just go nuts and separate them all out so let's do this let's go delete all these clips all right and let's just do a little jam here okay so start with our pluck All right, I've got everything set up so it's a four bar loop. Let's add another pluck. Bring in some pad.
lay down a couple different patterns for the bass. the sort of easy one, and we'll try and put down a little lead. All right, let's, we need some rhythm here. going to transpose. New part. And we can record these as uh, chord progressions. start bringing parts out. Let's do some more transposition. back in. That's it. So there's a jam. So I'll try and illustrate some of the stuff we've done. We've got some plucks with dotted eighth and a lot of reverb doing their little thing. We've got two different timbres, and they're running at different uh, clip lengths, different loop lengths, so you get interesting syncopation. We've got some couple different kinds of pads that you can bring in and out that are just those big brassy sort of out there in space floating. Uh, we've got some rhythm as far as got some uh, 
LFO, synced LFO driven rhythm parts. And then we've got a single lead. As far as it's also got a ton of reverb on it floating out there in space. And then for my own edification, I like that spacey prog rock bass. So uh, that's about it. That's just a quick jam to sort of show you how you can put it all together. Uh, if you have any questions or ideas of your own or things you want to uh, see me try, uh, put it in the comments. Let me know. And uh, for those of you who have offspring, I hope you have a fantastic Father's Day. And uh, as always, you've been watching Sin Seeker. Have a great week.